Many student filmmakers in China probably dream of working on Hollywood blockbusters like Iron Man 3. The third outing for Marvel's most popular superhero hit the big screen in China on, Mar on May 1st and has already set numerous books box office records. Filmed partly in China and with Chinese financial backing, the superhero franchise now has a Chinese bloodline. Despite this, our reporter Mu Fang Zhou explores the ongoing co-production puzzle between China and Hollywood. Iron Man 3 is a co-production between Marvel Studios, Paramount Pictures and China's DMG Entertainment, the latest in the series of hookups between Hollywood and China. Some of the film scenes were shot in Beijing in December 2012. Movie veteran Wang Xueqi appears in one scene and there is also a cameo for Fan Bingbing. Well, casting is key. Think about it for a minute. You have to cast somebody who is going to be playing against the biggest names, the most established names, Oscar award winning people and actors. Also, you need to be able to win their respect right away because what you're being able to see is new layers, constantly new layers of story, which is really what's important. At the end of the day, that's what makes Hollywood so great it is the storytelling. Iron Man's tweaks and additions have ensured that the growing Chinese movie audience will be pandered to. We do need backup. That's your department. Filmmakers also realize that Chinese elements add some exoticism to the superhero's global appeal. From Bruce Willis's Chinese wife in Looper to the luminous in Shanghai skyscrapers in Skyfall, more and more blockbusters are adding Chinese flavors to their lineups as studios set their sights on China. With the projected growth of up to 30% over the coming years, it's the first time that a single foreign country has become so alluring for Hollywood. However, the producers are yet to work out the equation of how to find the common grounds between Chinese and global audience. We're sending you to China. Whereas China has delivered actors and investments to Hollywood, few foreign producers have ventured here to portray a realistic vision of China on the silver screen. 2012 comedy Shanghai Calling dubbed the Americans' love letter to Shanghai went some way to change that. The film's director, writer and producer are all American Chinese immigrants. They teamed up to pay tribute to their origins by breaking down the stereotypes of China in the eyes of Americans. One of the things is just getting a glimpse into modern Shanghai, which is a pretty sexy place to be right now. It's, uh, it's got an amazing blend of East and West and old and new, and, and there is an intense curiosity about China these days because it is so front and center in people's minds, but very little knowledge or at least very few images that actually tell people what it's like, you know, in, in fact, today. Hollywood is still keen to co-produce films with Chinese studios. But as Chinese filmgoers seek entertainment that speaks to and for them, working out exactly how this can have universal appeal remains to be seen. Mu Fangzhou, CCTV, Beijing.